Alright guys, um, recently, if you saw my video, and I, I got the iPod Touch. Before that, I had, um, not anymore, but as of, um, a year ago, this 2008 Christmas, so the Christmas of 2007, just before 2008 began, um, I got the iPod Nano, 8 gig in black, and it's the fat, this is the year when they made the fat one which I actually really like, and I now they look like TV remotes, but whatever, I don't really care, Apple can do it anymore. So, anyway, I had to get my iTunes library, which was about 3 or 4 gig, from my ThinkPad, where my Nano is still going to be synced up, because I'm still going to use that if I go out biking, to my, my older HP, where I'm going to sync the uh, touch. So, okay, syncing or uh, relocating iTunes library is the point of this video. And I don't even actually have iTunes installed on this computer. I don't know why I'm doing the video computer, probably because the microphone's there. But anyway, I'll open up something to keep you entertained visually. Anyways, <clears throat> um, so what you've got to do is if you're in Vista or XP, this will work. Go to the start menu, and then if you see music or my music, then if you expand that, you should have something in there, a uh, folder called iTunes. Use your mouse to right hand click on it, and if you're copying it, you still want it in the location where you're moving it from, then copy it. Or if you're cutting it, that means you're, you're removing it from where it is now, and you're moving it somewhere else. So it's not going to be where you take it, but it's going to be wherever you put it. I'm going to copy this, and I don't want to move it. This is actually my media, my Windows Media Player library, but whatever, just a sec. I'll copy that, and then open up a flash drive or a network location, some kind of a hard drive, an SD card, something that will fit your that will fit your music on it. I would suggest maybe a networked computer. Or if you have a large flash drive, like my 8 gig flash drive would work well. And then right hand click somewhere in there and paste it. And uh, I have 1.22 gig in this library. So after you get it pasted there, go to the new computer where you have iTunes. Punch the start menu. And go back to my music. And this is where you're going to put it. When you put it there, I'm going to cancel this for time's sake. When you put it there, you're going to right hand click on where you put it, and this time you're going to cut it. So cut the file you just pasted on, on your storage, go to my music, and paste it in there. I'm not going to do that because it'll get screwed up, so then just paste it there. And then install iTunes. Then don't, don't put it there after you've installed iTunes. So put the folder there, then go install iTunes. If you've already installed it, uninstall it. After you've installed iTunes, then open it up. <clears throat> so, sorry, I'll, I'll go back. Uh, re put the file in my music, install iTunes, open iTunes. It should be exactly the same as it was on your other computer. If it didn't get the music in there, right, in your albums, your playlists, whatever you may have, then you probably messed up a step. If you did it, maybe iTunes changed the way it recognizes where your files are. I'm not totally sure. But it, it's always worked for me, and it's really saved my butt a couple times from having to totally rebuild an iTunes library. It takes five minutes to copy it, paste it in there, install iTunes, open it, there it is. So hopefully that can help you and save a lot of time, and maybe, and hopefully, patience. <clears throat> so thanks for watching. Please comment, please subscribe. Many more videos to come soon, hopefully. So, uh, thanks again.